Welcome to Guitar Search Saturdays. My name's Shane. This is a very special episode eight. We're heading out to two locations today, just north of Melbourne, Australia. There's an old saying that says, stick to what you know. We'll see how that works out for us today. The first of these two shops is called Guitar Gallery. It's located in Algin Street, Fitzroy. Being that it was so close to Found Sound and the music swap shop, I figured we'd be in for a bit of a treat. While I hadn't been into the Guitar Gallery before, I had some high hopes. Let's go in and check it out. As I was walking in, I peered into the window and I thought to myself, what have I gotten myself into? There's two banjos staring me back in the face. To top things off, there's also a mandolin, but if you check out the far right, there's also some electric guitars. This should be interesting. It was right about now I realized maybe this shop isn't for me, but I thought I'd give it the benefit of the doubt. Banjos to the left of me, mandolins to the right, and here I am, stuck in the middle. The bass right at the front is actually a Squire. These are phenomenal basses, especially for the price. I've owned a Squire bass before, and it's one of the most playable and great sounding bass guitars around. If you're a guitarist looking to play some bass, the Squire is a great option. I was unable to tell what type of ES335 this guitar was. On the headstock, as you can see, someone's actually sanded back the name. If I had to guess what it was, I'd probably say it's a Samick. This classic finish on this Gibson Les Paul is absolutely my favorite in terms of visuals. I think it looks great. I gotta say, it looks a hell of a lot better than the auto harps that's sitting right behind it. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. All right, I have a few. What's that? <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? And what is that? I have no idea. Anyway, they look kind of cool. <laughs> that giant marshmallow thing on the right is just awesome. It was almost like this giant marshmallow thing had some sort of camouflage. While I was in the store, I didn't even notice it. Hey, here we go. Here's some awesome Resonator acoustic guitars. I love visually that these things have the steel body. I think they look absolutely awesome. And sound wise, they have a vibe unlike anything else. Right now, I currently don't own an acoustic guitar. I think if I do buy one coming up, it would be something like this. I really dig the kind of vibe it has for stuff like blues and playing slide. While the guitar gallery wasn't the kind of shop I was hoping for, I gotta say, for what it does, it does extremely well. It has a bit of a niche, especially when it comes to the banjos and mandolins. Lots of great acoustic guitars on the wall at a decent price. I also got a chance to have a chat with what I'm assuming is the owner of the store, and he's a really lovely guy. He also plays a pretty mean, well, I'm not exactly sure what instrument he's playing right now, but whatever it is, he plays it really well. Oh yeah, just to like, take a bit of a look and see what you got. Please remain calm. We have our first official lefty sighting. The first and only left-handed guitar in the shop. And yep, I'm keeping that alarm until season two. This particular acoustic guitar is a Blue Ridge BR40 LH Contemporary Series guitar. In terms of woods, they're a solid Sitka spruce top and mahogany back and sides. Nice. It's very rare that I walk into a music shop and not know about the majority of the stuff that's in there. <laughs> what are these three things? If you know, post in the comments. Whatever these three crazy instruments are, they definitely have some super wide string gap. This beautiful looking orange guitar is a Stromberg Montreux jazz guitar. I've never seen one of these in person before and I have to say, this is a really great looking jazz guitar. This is by no means an entry level guitar. You should check them out.
We play both kinds, country and western. Considering how small this particular shop is, they have so much stuff, including lots and lots of banjos. There's something to be said for the sound of a nice nylon string guitar. When played correctly or used in the right context, there's nothing like it. One of the first songs that comes to mind is It's Probably Me with Sting and Eric Clapton. I'll put a link up in the cards. Thanks, man. And with that, I'm on my way out. I happen to notice there's another shop right across the street. So let's go check it out. This next shop is called Fretted Instruments. I had no idea what to expect walking in. Let's go in and check it out. Oh man, I knew as soon as I walked in, this shop would offer nothing of value for me personally. That said, let's go around and take a look. I have a feeling this will be a quick hi and buy. I noticed they had a back room, so I figured maybe they had some electric guitars out the back. I thought for sure it couldn't be all ukuleles and acoustics. How wrong I was. <laughs> This is totally out of place, but awesome. It's a Bad Cat electric guitar amp. Sweet. While I only had two electric guitars in the entire shop, it was odd to see such a great amp sitting on the floor. Here's something you don't see every day. It's a Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Resonator guitar. I'm not sure how I feel about that to be honest, but it's interesting to say the least. Check out the electric guitar pickup on the resonator guitar to its left. I've never seen that before either. There really is something quite beautiful and sort of Terminator looking about these resonator guitars. I dig them. This has to be every electric guitar player's worst nightmare check it out. And that wraps up a very different and very unique Guitar Search Saturday. I have to give both of these shops credit for doing something different. They're not just stocking the same stuff that every other guitar shop is. If you're a fan of something a little more obscure in terms of instruments, you'll definitely like both of these stores. Thanks again for watching. See you next Saturday for another Guitar Search Saturday.